Hi, welcome back to my channel, Mrs. Shank. If you're new here, that's me, my name's May, and today I'm off to a mule tasting. So Mule is a local company here in Toronto. They make coffee meets tea, so it's coffee and tea together. And uh, actually, it is really, really good. So I'm just on my way now. Um, the lighting in here is terrible, sorry. I'm just on my way now to go down to this tasting. They've invited like a handful of people who already um, like Mule and I've been drinking Mule for like almost a year, I guess it was about last Christmas that I first discovered them. Okay, so this tasting is happening um, downtown Toronto at a George Brown uh, college location. I've never been to this exact spot before. So yeah, I'm gonna go in and kind of show you what's going on. Yeah, same to be fair. Yeah. Christmas for sure. Yeah, not getting the um, peppermint smell on thigh. Me neither, yeah. Yeah, same. It, it smells, smells chocolatey. Mm. But I yeah, don't I feel like it smells peppermint. I, yeah, too. Okay, so that was fun. It was um, a small group of us. I got to meet the founder, which was really fun. Um, and then like her consultant that she works with since the beginning. So that was really cool. And we got to sample a lot of different flavors. Um, and I'm gonna just kind of like pull my thoughts together about them um, and then like tell you all about that when I get home because I also feel like it's starting to rain and um, yeah, I'm not about that. All right, so it's actually the next day now and I've come home and had one cup of each of the three mule flavors since the tasting yesterday. So the tasting was for developing the existing flavors. Like the purpose of yesterday's tasting was to sample some of the changes to the existing flavors. Mule works with the food scientists at George Brown College here in Toronto to develop their flavors. And actually a lot of successful brands here in Toronto have done that, like a lot. I showed you just a very small sample of them in the cabinet there in the kitchen yesterday. There are tons of other brands that have worked with them. So there are three flavors of Mule. There's the festive chocolate peppermint, the Earl vanilla, and the ever popular maple chai. So yesterday we had three samples of the chai, two of the Earl vanilla, and three of the chocolate peppermint. I am not gonna talk about the differences between these samples because I'm sure it's proprietary. And since these new flavors are under development, I just see it as an honor to be included at all without telling the internet about like their recipe development. However, I will talk a little bit about the process because it's really neat. So the food scientists prepare all the different samples with three of two kinds and then two of the other. We had a total of eight samples to talk about and really that's what it comes down to, talking about the differences, the things we noticed, the things we liked and what we didn't like about them. And as I'm sure you can imagine, the conversations were just as much about smell as taste. It was so interesting to me that somebody may like taste more chocolate than peppermint, for example, and someone else drinking the same thing may taste more peppermint than chocolate or like not even taste a certain flavor at all. It was really neat to see the differences between people. I'm a big fan of Mule and you already know that I love coffee. So generally I'm not much of a tea drinker at all. I have my 
almond milk green tea latte in the afternoon while I'm knitting and then I try lately to switch to green tea later at night but that's like for health benefits and the reduced caffeine although if you've been watching my channel for a while then you also know that I will happily drink coffee right before bed and it's actually a habit I'm trying to break. So having said that, I really like this combination of coffee and tea even though I'm a coffee drinker. So far I've always drank my coffee and my mule, black with no sugar, but we were given a little oat milk to add to our maple chai samples yesterday and I kind of loved it to be honest. So I think that's something I'm going to experiment with more like at home. It never occurred to me to make lattes for my mule, but what a great idea. I'm actually going to make myself a chocolate peppermint mule latte with almond milk right now since it's after Halloween and socially acceptable to get a little festive, I hope. If you're local, you can find Mule at the Toronto Designers Market in Parkdale and at Noah's Natural Foods on Bloor. If you're not in Toronto and you want to try it out, you can order it from well.ca or straight from their website, mugofmule.com, and I'll link all that stuff down in the description. And also, just a little heads up, Mule is going to be included in a holiday giveaway during Vlogmas that I'm doing, so stay tuned for that. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up to show some support. And if you're new here and you like videos about goal setting and recipes and occasional local Toronto stuff like this, subscribe to my channel for new videos. Thanks guys, bye.